Hi, Assalamualaikum guys. So, we are going to continue with the next uh, properties, which is the mechanism. So, basically, the properties that I mentioned earlier is how you want to differentiate the SN1 and SN2 reaction. So, the fourth, the fourth properties is the mechanism. So, basically, the SN2 is a one-step mechanism. That's why it is also known as a fast reaction. While for SN1, it's a two-step mechanism. So, it's also known as a slow reaction. Okay. So, for example, you have one question. Okay. So, CH3, CH, CH3. So, F. Alright. So, plus with H2O, for example. So, what is important? The first one. Okay, you have to identify whether you punya Rx ni primary ke, secondary ke, tertiary ke or methyl halide. So, locate this one. Okay, and then check berapa attachment. Satu, dua. So, secondary. So, bila secondary akil halide, so meaning that in term of substitution reactions, you can undergo SN1 or SN2 reactions. So, because secondary can undergo both reactions. So next, you have to check your punya nucleophile. So this is your new punya nucleophile. So whether it is a strong nucleophile or weak nucleophile. So you have nucleophilic atoms in a neutral conditions. So meaning that OH are attached dengan H. So OH attached dengan H. So dalam keadaan neutral. So this is a weak nucleophile. So, bila weak nucleophile, they can undergo reaction SN1. So, you can cancel your SN2 reactions. So, this is SN1 reaction. Okay, so in terms of substitutions, for elimination reactions, um, um, we, will we, we will discuss next. Alright, so uh, for this one, okay, so, bila mana you dah tahu ini adalah SN1 reactions, so you will proceed the mechanism uh, for SN1 if the question asks for the mechanism. So, for the mechanism of SN1, it is a, a bit different with the SN2 because remember previously I said that SN1 will have the uh, will have the carbocation. So, meaning that the first step in mechanism for SN1 reaction you will have your formations of carbocation. So, for example, for this one, you have CH3, CH, and then CH3. So, your F is attached here. So, how the how the formations of carbocation is your leaving group will leave, sorry, will left your halide group. So, bila carbon awak hilang satu, bonding so this one akan jadi positif so ingat dalam mechanism arrow is very important kena ada so you will get your CH3 CH and CH3 so carbon ni dah kurang satu bonding so dia akan jadi positif so this is your carbo cation so this is your first step your second step Okay, so this is you punya carbocation. Okay, I will put your positively charge. Okay, so for here, there are two types of product that can be formed for SN1 mechanism. The first one product yang boleh bentuk adalah dalam bentuk retention. So, the second one dalam bentuk inversion. So, you akan dapat dua jenis produk. So, apa itu retentions and inversions? So, retentions, okay, bermaksud formations of product pada location yang sama. Same. Okay, inversions, so invert, maksud dia different locations. So, 
apa maksud same dengan difference? So, same locations adalah same locations pada you punya X group. So, your X group located at below. So, meaning that you punya niclofile. Okay, saya tukar color. So, you punya niclofile tadi adalah uh, H2O. Sorry. So, sorry. Okay, ini adalah obyek nikelofal H2O. So, kalau you buat mekanism H2O attack from the same location with your F iaitu di bawah. Okay, attack sini. Sorry. So, dia attack tempat yang sama. So, ini adalah retention sebab same locations. So, bila retentions okay, dia tiada banyak perubahan. So, dia akan attachment dia tetap akan jadi yang sama. Okay, sekejap ya. So, ini adalah C H3 CH CH3 So, F awak akan digantikan dengan H2O. So, ingat you attack as H2O so you will attach as H2O. So, O extra bonding positively charge. Okay. So, ingat eh, attack dekat at bawah. So, attach pun mesti di bawah. Alright. So, retention same location dengan you punya living group. Okay, next. Okay, the first one adalah formations of carbocation. Second step adalah attack of nucleophile. So, ada dua cara. Sama ada attack same location dengan you punya X group. Ataupun attack dengan different locations. So, saya tunjuk dulu yang the same locations. So, next for the third one. Okay, what will happen? So, this is your CH3. CH and then CH3. So, attachment dengan OHH. So, if dalam reaction sawak dekat sini, okay, saya so pergi balik, you either solvent. Okay. Ini adalah Rx. Akil highlight. This one adalah you punya nucleophile. And let's say dekat sini ada compound line. For example kat sini saya letak uh, methanol. CH3. So, kalau yang atas garisan arrow ni, ini adalah solvent. Okay. Plus adalah dengan you punya nucleo File. So, atas arrow adalah you punya solvent. So, untuk stabilisekan structure, okay, kat sini kita akan gunakan awak punya solvent. Tapi, jika tiada solvent, dekat sini untuk stabilisation akan guna awak punya nucleophile semula. Okay, so example kat sini kita ada solvent, CH3 tadi, CH3OH. So, yang ini letak attack pada H. So, kalau you tak faham step ni, you refer balik on how substitution product is produced. Yang ada positively charged, okay, yang ada uh, neutral product with proton transfer, okay, neutral product without proton transfer. Check the previous lecture. I already discussed this one on how you want to produce your products. So, solvent awak akan attack hydrogens. So, dia akan pulangkan balik bonding ni kepada nucleophilic atom. So, bila dia pulangkan, you akan dapat balik you punya structure. So, CH3, CH, CH3. So, dekat sini tadi, um, awak punya methanol, 
dah ambil hidrogen. So, hidrogen dia dah hilang. So, sekarang dia tinggal OH sahaja. So, this is you punya SN1 products for the first step. Okay. So, attachment of new products. Locations dia adalah pada location yang sama dengan awak punya living group. So, kita panggil dia sebagai SN1 retentions product. Ini retentions. Okay. Retentions and inversions, it becomes important bila berkaitan dengan mechanism. Tapi kalau you just nak draw you punya product macam biasa, um, if the question doesn't ask about inversions and retentions, you just boleh omit cepat tu. Okay. Uh, next, I will show you on the inversions products. So, previously, kalau you punya structure ni, F dia dekat sini, you punya nucleophile attack pada location yang sama dekat F yang berada di bawah, kita akan dapat retentions products. So, meaning that untuk inversions, bila dia attack pada location yang berlainan. Okay, berapa dia punya lain tu adalah retention, sorry, inversions mesti 180 degree away from your living group. So, meaning that kalau living group awak berada di sini, okay, bawah ni. So, untuk inversions product, kat sini awak uh, punya living group, so dia akan attack daripada atas. Okay, that one untuk inversion. Kalau retention, attack tempat yang sama dengan living group. Okay, so the H2O okay, will attack on top. Kenapa on top? Sebab living group awak berada di bawah. So, bila dia attack on top, what will happen? Kalau you nak tengok clearer picture, saya lukis yang kat bawah ni. Okay, so basically this is you punya carbon. Okay, dekat sini awak punya uh, positively charged. Okay, hydrogens and then you have CH3. You have CH3. So, bila H2O attack on top of it. Okay, products dia, dia akan membentuk inversions product. Inversions tu macam mana? OH yang attach tu, sorry, um, H2O yang attack, okay, so dia akan attach pada tempat yang dia attack. So, dia attack di atas, so dia akan attach di atas. So, tetapi, yang lain ni, you punya CH3, hydrogen CH3 ni, dia akan away. Maksudnya, dia akan lari. Okay, daripada dia punya original structure. So, originally, these three groups, CH3, hydrogen and CH3, is located on top of your carbon. But right now, bila dia attack, okay, as inversions, which is 180 degree from your living group, okay, so living group dekat bawah tadi, so sekarang dia attack daripada atas, so dia akan menghasilkan Inversions products. So, apa itu inversions products? You can ask, um, you can alihkan yang atas ni pergi ke bawah dia macam inverted. Okay. So, ada yang student saya sebut macam bentuk payung. Okay, payung yang terbalik itu. Okay, kita buka macam ni. Okay, tapi it's actually, it's almost like macam you punya mirror image. Okay, kalau you comparekan ini dengan ini, dia lebih kurang macam mirror image. So, this one dia dapat structure dalam bentuk retentions. You akan continue balik dengan step number 3. Proses yang sama. So, CH3 Okay, so saya conteng kat sini je. So, same step. CH3 OH akan ambil hydrogens. So, bonding ni akan dipulangkan balik dekat OH yang ada positif ni. So, saya lukis di bawah ni. So, product dia you akan dapat C, OH, KH, CH3 dan juga CH3. Terbalik dengan original structure yang mana you punya C hydrogen dengan ni berada di atas. Okay, so tu untuk mechanism.